Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Complete Playthrough. It's me, Dr. Benji FM, and today, Swansea is the game we're going to play, and it's a game that it, it's never been described more as a must-win game. Uh, recent results have been, oh dearie me, draws against Watford, Stoke and Hull have left us in 10th position in the Premier League after six games, and while it's not a disaster, um, you look at the teams around us, City and Everton are close, we are losing pace with league leaders Watford currently, uh, a team that again caused us problems earlier this season with a 0-0 draw. We've only got one Premier League win so far against Burnley. I mean, while on paper that sounds fantastic, it's not the best. We've not really had any real tests so far this season. In terms of the top teams in the division, you look at United City, Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, we've not played any of them. So they're the games now we're looking at and oh these have suddenly become must-win games hopefully we can put ourselves in contention for the manchester clubs with a win against swansea and it's a game again that is must win tactically we've been looking at lots of different things in recent episodes we ended the episode deciding is this something we're going to go with uh, is it time now to change things around a little bit more and play Firmino up top on his own maybe Origi up top on his own a lot of people have been saying look I've been using Origi in my own personal save he's the guy for you get him up there complete forward it'll, it'll make magic it's becoming more and more as if that's the sort of thing we're going to have to try it's there's nothing wrong I don't think in trying something new trying something different and I think with this this formation here it's been a fun experiment for this game at Swansea, which I do consider must win, we're going to try the other formation we've been learning. It involves a shadow striker in behind a, a, a front man as well. I think Firmino as a complete forward on support is probably the best bet for that. Coutinho and him switching places, playing similar roles. Uh, and in the middle, it is going to require James Milner to come back in to play this more box-to-box -box position um, alongside Emre Shan. There's a few uh, days yet before we get to the Swansea game, so we'll see if any news comes up uh, in terms of a complete playthrough. Obviously, you want to see everything that happens. We're getting a few players to scout. Parades in the middle, Storado, um, obviously a player I had at Palmer, for those that remember that. Jason Murillo has been su suggested as a defender to scout. Defensively, we're not too, like, we're not awful defensively. We're not conceding loads of goals per game. It's just finding the balance between scoring goals to win us games and con like not conceding so we have a better chance at winning said game. Uh, right, as the game moves forward then, it looks like Swansea, interestingly, going to play a 4-1-2-2-1, basically a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder. And um, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a different sort of test, a formation we've not faced too much this season. A lot of the teams we've played actually have played quite defensively. Um, so if Swansea are going to play a little bit more open, that's the kind of system that probably plays into our hands, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. I mean, we'll have to see, won't we, as we go forward. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, though, you might have noticed, picked up an injury four to five days with a thigh strain, so won't be available. Probably wouldn't have been available anyway. Um, I mean, it suggests we should tr we should change to fluid. I actually agree with that, so we'll do that. Um, the way the tactic's been trained, though, it's interesting. Of course, this is a formation that these players will probably be slightly more suited to. Wingers on either side, Firmino up top, Coutinho behind. Instruction-wise, looking for the overlap. Uh, we're going to try and exploit both flanks, actually. And instead of being more expressive, we're going to retain possession in the middle. That shouldn't change things too much in terms of uh, in terms of instructions. It's fair to say that the team have not been performing well of late. Oh, these journos doing my head in, I tell you. You seem very calm and relaxed about it, but are you feeling particularly concerned assertively say no more pressure than usual the stakes are high in management and i'm happy with the expectations and demands of the job in preparation for the forthcoming match but about uh hang on let's read that again in preparation for the forthcoming match more about the right mentality question hang on am i reading that? it also is preparation what was i saying is preparation for the forthcoming match more about the right mentality yes i think so uh we have the quality of squad. yeah i've just done i answered the last question there without thinking that's how much okay swansea coming up let's hope that that journalistic ch oh here we are hold on a second oh javier 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 has he got a history of being injury prone not according to this but he's out again for five to six weeks he'll be back in time for the african cup of nations when we're going to need him so that's not too bad not ideal though to have him out at all again he's on a lot of money we save the game in every episode i know this um we need to we need to start using this time to answer the questions from the list where is the bloody i don't know if I've got the list at hand right now but yeah we'll um, start reading every time there's a save moment we're going to start answering questions that have been left by you in the comment section right here we go then oh dear me this is a, again it's becoming a game that we need to win Captain Jordan's nearly back the best box to box midfielder in world football he'll actually be back for both games against Manchester United and Manchester City perfect I mean what a time for him to return um, we're playing Milner in the middle though we've got uh, see Klasenic, Kolasinic I'm, I'm never going to be able to say it right it's Kolasinac surely like the way it's written, Saeed Kolasinac. 
I just, uh, I'm, I could go with Saeed every time. Um, it might not even be Saeed. It might just be Sad. Like Sad, maybe. I don't, sad class, I don't, pff, SK. Let's just change it. To, no, we'll keep it at SK. We'll, I'll try and remember to call him SK. Fullback wise, I think we're going to keep things as are. Uh, Matip and Lovren in the middle then. This is the key though, isn't it? The, again, it always seems to be the front four. Will the front four perform today? It's a little change up from from what we've been playing recently. It's a system that has been trained. So, I mean, come on now. This is the sort of game we have to be winning. Swansea down in 19th. We just played the team in 19th in Hull. It wasn't good. You know, it wasn't a good performance. So today is going to be huge for us. Passionately say, I expect nothing but a win from today. And assertively say, I have faith in you to go out there and make this difference. They just don't care. <laughs> okay, someone cared at long last. Um, this is just such an important game. If we don't win this, as I say, put so much pressure on the games against Manchester United and Manchester City. And this is the first time this season, really, we're playing a system, we're playing a formation that is a lot more familiar is something I've played a lot more on Football Manager. So if things st don't start to go well, I can make the little tweaks that I think might help out. Um, come on, team. This is a big game today. Swansea, we're away at Swansea. Known traditionally for being quite a possession-based team. Changed within recent years, though. Haven't been quite as much that side, sort of side. As um, the ball out isn't good. And this gives us a chance to attack. You can already see Klein creeping up on this right-hand side. Coutinho into Emre Shan, who's got a big role to play today. I haven't really seen anything special from Emre Shan so far this season. He's playing a little bit deeper, of course. Milner, though, into Firmino. Him and uh, Coutinho, she places. Great strike from Coutinho just over the bar. It was either wide or just over. Either way, a good opening chance for us. And more of that, please. Seeing Coutinho push on as Firmino drops deeper is just what we want to be seeing. As uh, Coutinho feeds it into Bilde Chieta, out to, to SK on that left-hand side. Emre Shan back out to him. If you can get a ball into the middle, goes with his right foot. The ball in isn't the greatest, as to be said. I don't know why he chose to do it with his right foot when he's left-footed. And uh, Fabianski clears quite quite strongly. Uh, Lorente up front shouldn't be the quickest. The chance of us getting beaten in behind isn't that likely. Of course, we've seen Defoe and Abel, Abel Hernandez prove that to be a problem for us. As Coutinho hits the post, oh, Fabianski dived to his right, didn't get anywhere near it, really. I mean, it hit the post. He shouldn't have to save it, really. But, um, yeah, we're seeing some good things. Coutinho, so far, has been at the heart of everything good. Two clear-cut chances. No goals, though, which is the big concern. As we've got a throw in deep on this right-hand side. Klein's throw isn't the best. Jack Cork plays it back to Martin Olsen, who clears it long, and uh, Nathaniel Klein does intercept. Now, key in the middle, plays it into Leroy Fur. And again, there's no ball in behind available for, for Swansea, and that plays into our hands. That is the sort of thing that actually suits us. As I said before, this sort of formation suits us far better. There's lots of space in the middle. I mean, Shan gets so much time on the ball to pick the right pass, plays it into Keita. Firmino again, lays it back to Milner. Coutinho, always on the shoulder, looking to break through. You can see it every single time. Mane, down this right-hand side now. Ball into the middle, perhaps. Whips it towards the back post. Keita gets up and over the bar. Is that a clear-cut chance? It is. Three clear-cut chances in the first half an hour. We've not been creating many of them this season, but so far, so good. Firmino, maybe we could play him more attacking. I mean, it would it would, would limit how much Coutinho got forwards. But I want to see him have a chance, really. That would be ideal. As uh, Again, Swansea, clear it forward. Not the greatest delivery. And uh, Shan heads down to Milner, who gives it to Coutinho, who's running at, the, uh, running at goal, shot from Coutinho, saved well, out for a corner. And our corners are dreadful, so I don't know what I'm expecting here, really. If Coutinho beats the first man, it'll be a miracle. Corner comes in, lofted in. Fabianski comes in, claims. And again, no danger from the corner. Um, we need Henderson back so we can stick him on corners. I think that that's that's one of the things he's very good at, is putting in a, a decent delivery. Um, I mean, there's, there's not long left to go, about 45 seconds to this half. I would be very upset if somehow Swansea find their way into this. They've not really been in the game so far. And, uh, and we've looked pretty good. Some really good chances. Just haven't found the back of the net. I mean, largely, I want the same performance in the second half. Not much needs to change. I don't know if this highlight is an end-of-half highlight, which leads to nothing, or if this is a, a one final chance. It looks like it might actually be one final chance. Coutinho has got to run on that right-hand side. Mane, he's throwing goal. Sadio Mane, another great save from Fabianski. Our finishing hasn't quite been good enough. Fabianski's on top form. Milner's going to put a corner in this time. If it reaches the box, I'll be impressed. James Milner, ball played in, headed clear at the front post. I've seen it before. Uh, there we are then. At half-time, 0-0, largely the better side. I and mean, we've seen some fantastic chances for us in this game. Um, team talk-wise, I'm going to I'm gonna calmly... Um, 
Do I say you've been unlucky? They haven't really been unlucky. We've just our our, pass, our shots have been poor. Um, to the point where Fabianski's playing well, but we need to be finishing better. Really, uh, we can still win this. Keep working hard, and it will come. And they seem a little bit indifferent. We're going to change Firmino up to play as an attacking complete forward rather than support. I'm interested to see how that sort of combination now with Coutinho and Firmino is impacted. If for the first 20 minutes we don't really see anything from either of them, I'll change it back. But I want Coutinho and Firmino to both be pushing on. At the moment, I feel like it's always only one of them. And if it's both of them, that, that causes a lot more problems for this Swansea backline. So far, no highlights. As we hit an hour on the clock... Is this to do with my changes? Okay, it may well be. So we're going to change it to Divokarigi, who's got a little bit more pace to get in behind. We're going to keep things as well, though, as a complete forward attack and see if we can get the best out of him. I just want chance creation, really. Coutinho is now on a 6.4. I kind of think this change may be not the best. As Coutinho puts the ball in... This this happened with Defoe as well. It's the worst... Coutinho's delivery. We're getting him off free kicks. You'd think he'd be good at him. Remember that one he scored... Uh, against Arsenal at the Emirates, for, like first game of the season, Matip heads clear. Swansea are putting on the pressure here. Olsen delivery to the back post. I would have, I'd, I'd have walked out of the room. I think, I think I'd have walked out of the room. Not good, not good at all. Time is um, slowly ticking away. Firmino has gone off now. Rigi on. Coutinho's impact on the game is little to nothing. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's not a shadow striker, but he had so many chances in that first half that he was on the ball so much. I mean, Lalana can come on, I guess. Shan's struggling in the middle. We're going to bring on Wijnaldum. Not play him as defensively. Oh, I need something, boys. I need something. 12 minutes to go. I can't handle another draw. We're going on the... the I mean, the unbeaten run. We're I mean, look at this. Look at this. There's a minute to go. It's a Swansea corner. Put in. Matip heads clear. Is anybody getting onto that at all? Nobody? No? Nobody? Fernandez, it's a tackle that's come in. Clearance. Origi's going to have to do something magical here. Win it off him. Strike it from there and it'll have to go in. <sighs> Standard fluid has not worked. Again. It's another Premier League game without a win. It's another draw. <laughs> We're the draw specialists. We are the draw specialists against the teams that we should be, we should be taking maximum points from. These should be games. We should be winning with ease. And we're not. We're struggling. We're having more possession. We're having we're, we're, our pass again. Our pass completion far superior, but for what? For what? We've had four clear cut chances in the game today, and we've not taken any of them. It's something we're going to look at in a minute. We're going to see where they were, how they were created, and why they weren't taken. I've told them I was pleased with the performance. It doesn't matter what series it is. I will fuck up the team talk. So, ah, four. We've lost one game this season. I should be delighted with it. I'm not, obviously. We've drawn five. Let's see, though. These clear-cut chances, how are they created? I mean, why didn't we take them is the bigger question. It's simply a question of finishing. First of all, what is Coutinho's free kick taking? Free kick taking 12. I mean, it's not the best, but we don't have that many good free kick takers. That's the problem, actually. Let's look at this statistically. Um, what are we doing? What am I doing here? Stats, competitions? I just want to see... I mean, attributes. What am I looking at stats for? Um, technical attributes. Free kick taking. It's that's literally the best we've got. That's why he's taking. I, mean, I can't put Mignolet on them, can I? Oh, heavens, heaven forbid. We'll get Henderson on uh, Henderson on them from now on, though. Okay, not good. Uh, as I was mentioning, we're going to look at the, the draws, man. We're going to have to see uh, what occurred if we go to what am I doing here? Teams. That's it. Uh, shots or chances created. Can we see like click? Oh, scoring chances. That's what we're looking for. Uh, clear cut chances then. For Liverpool, this is four clear-cut chances. What sort? What are all these? I mean, can we get rid of these, please? Can we? Why are these? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Who's put these on the screen? Where, where are they from? They're, they're from the first half when we looked at that, aren't they? I don't want to. I don't want all these. I don't want. I, how do I get? This is. I mean, this is not good, is it? How, how do we get rid of this? How do we get rid of them? They're passes. They're in, they're incomplete passes. I mean, why are they on? It doesn't say that, does it? Uh, get rid of that then. Passing combination. Get rid of that as well. Right. Sorry about this, folks. I didn't realize we were doing so much admin. Right. Complete. Um, what is it? Clear cut chances. So we can, if you click them, and we can show the linked events. Again, came through the middle, and it was just essentially a ball through from Kieta given to Coutinho. 
<sighs> missed the opportunity. This again was another really good chance. Didn't take the most of it though. Again, linked events, nice little move. Again, through the middle, not from the wide areas is what we're noticing so far. Uh, Mane had another one. Clear cut chance. Uh, this is getting more frustrating as we go on. Again, comes through the middle though. Worked from the back. Really nice move actually when you think about it. Quite a lot of passing. And then forward to him. Doesn't finish it off. And then finally, was it this one here? Was this a half chance? That was a half chance. We'll look at this. Uh, was it Keita's? I'm lost again. Where are we? This one I think it was though. Um, and again, that actually does come from across then. That's a Coutinho ball out to Mane. Ball put into the middle. That was the header. Of course it was. Uh, and then a half chance. The closest one to the goal was the half chance, which is quite funny. Showlin's events. Again, nice little move. Forward into Mane. So centrally, we're looking pretty good. We're creating most of our chances through the middle. In the second half though, I don't necessarily know what happened. Was the change on Firmino that drastic? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is one of those games, again, that goes down as a ridiculous result. Another draw. 2 0 nils, 2 1 1s, and a win in the cup. Watford, Stoke, Holland, Swansea are loving playing us. And things don't get much easier. In two weeks' time, after the international break, Manchester United are on the horizon. So that's going to be a big one. Of course, it is. Always a big game. Um, De Gea is out with a broken leg, which is interesting. So he won't play. He's actually out for the season for Manchester United. We'll see how they're affected by that. They've got Sergio Moreno, uh, Romero, though, right? So he's going to have to play for them all season. Wow, that's fascinating. Okay, then. Right, well, join me for that one next time out. Manchester United. If you enjoyed today's video, though, please do leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And love with care. From me, it's Benji. Until next time, goodbye.